The girls in my class refuse to admit that looks matter to them in relationships, so I use the weird kid in class to prove my point. So I'm in freshman year of high school and the other day we were having a class all about relationships, consent, that kind of stuff. One of the questions which was asked by the teacher was, boys in the class, hands up if looks matter to you when finding a partner. Literally every single guy put their hand up, with mine damn near going through the roof with how strongly I agreed with that statement. Catch me ever mingling with a beluga. Anyway, the teacher went on to ask the same question, but this time catered towards the girls. She said, girls, put your hand up if looks matter to you when finding a partner. And out of the 14 girls in that class, only one was honest enough to put their hand up. The teacher seemed pleased at this discovery and started to go into a speech about girls being less superficial, but this was when I felt a divine duty calling my name. I interrupted, saying I believe every single one of them is lying. All the girls looked at me and a conversation erupted, with me being called misogynistic from every direction. When the class calmed down the teacher told the girls to hear me out. I went on to explain that looks do indeed matter to them all, at least the guys are willing to admit it, the girls were not willing to admit it because they did not want to look like a-holes. I then said I can prove my theory right here and right now. Everyone looked kinda confused at me, and so I shouted. Jessica, you see Roger over there, if Roger could make you laugh like no one else and treated you like a princess, had every personality trait you dreamed of and even more, would you date him? For context, Roger was one ugly dude, he had an underbite which made his jaw stick out, he had a larger than life nose, an unbelievably large and square head, acne riddling him from top to bottom, and overall just had the facial structure of a deformed alpaca. He also rocked the bowl cut. Well, when I asked this, Jess began to stumble on her words and couldn't answer me. Thank you, see, I yelled before moving on to my next victim. Veronica, would you date Roger? She shook her head silently. And so one by one I went around the entire class asking every girl if she would date Roger. The teacher tried to get me to stop and calm down, telling me I had proved my point, but I didn't stop until I had asked every single girl. And so Roger was rejected 14 times, and he never even asked anyone out.